Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again to be here this morning to minister unto you live on Facebook and YouTube. My friends, I trust the Lord. Everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As it always says, Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Is that great? Is that awesome? Is that mighty, my friends? That God says in His words that He will never leave us nor forsake us even unto the end of the world. Whatever storm or situation you're going through today, today, my friends, Jesus promised He will be with you to the end. He says in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. This morning, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil, blights, generation of curse that come against your life. I destroy under the precious blood, for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious, and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is so repellent that destroys every yoke, and every bondage, and every fetter, and every evil, and every work of darkness. And this morning, my friends, Jesus said his word, whom the Son set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. My friends, the thief cometh. But for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Christ comes that you might have life and life more abundantly. Do you have abundant life this morning? If you're not having abundant life, God wants you to have abundant life. Hallelujah. Welcome this morning those of you who are listening to me from your living room. From your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, from church, on the street with your phone or even right here this morning. God bless you richly. There is a blessing in store for you this Saturday, this morning. God gonna bless you and set you free this morning, whether you're suffering this morning. Those of you, anybody who's suffering from cancer, AIDS, diabetes, COVID, a liver problem, a lungs problem, a heart problem, a kidney problem, you have a blood issue this morning, you are, you are oppressed, depressed, frustrated, you are blind, deaf, dumb, I don't care what the situation may be this morning, whatever you're going through this morning, if you're demon possessed this morning, Jesus Christ will set you free. If the doctors have given you up and say you only have a few weeks or a few months to live and you will die, my friend, you will not die, you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny. You will not die in the name of Jesus because God has a purpose and a plan for you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You will be free this morning. I feel a tremendous anointing of the Holy Spirit in this in this place this morning and I pray this morning through the power of the Holy Spirit uh, that God will touch uh, and heal many this morning hallelujah right now are you ready to receive your miracle are you ready to receive that healing from the hands of God because our God is the healer of our soul and also is the healer of our body are you ready to receive a miracle from the hands of God Jesus Christ was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. I am healed. You are healed. We are healed this morning in Jesus' name. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty, my friends? That we are serving a healing God, a loving God, a God who cares and can deliver you from every situation and every storm and every trial and every testing this morning in Jesus' name. My friends, there are 39 major sicknesses that are plaguing mankind today. A doctor say, and my friends, Jesus Christ took 39 stripes upon his back for your sickness. Are you ready? All you need is little faith as a grain of mustard seed. And if you have that little faith as a grain of mustard see this morning, you will receive your miracle from the hands of God. You will receive that miracle. Are you ready right now in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus, are you ready to receive that miracle from the hands of God? Right now in the name of Jesus, where you are, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. I see in the spirit realm, my friends, this morning that many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered from demon possession, many are delivered from sickness nights, many, many sickness have been healed this morning. I can see that in the spirit realm, but because of time, I do not have time to call out your sickness, my friends, this morning. Please write me, text me, call me, and let me know if you've been free by Jesus Christ this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, my friends, we are serving a great and mighty and awesome God. Isn't he great and mighty? Hallelujah. 
God wants us to trust Him, my friends. Trust Him in every situation, in every trial, in every testing, and every storm. Without Him, you cannot. Uh, without Him, you cannot, my friends. You cannot make it without Him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Without Him, He will not, my friends. He will not. When we travel across a bridge, it typically means, my friends. The two bodies of land, hallelujah, have been separated. It's not so, my friends, this morning, by a challenge. It's not so. This bridge, my friends, is designed to take you from, from where you are to where you are trying to go. It's not so this morning. The bridge that God has constructed, my friends, this morning, hallelujah, for you to move from the natural to the supernatural, my friends, is the bridge called faith. The you have faith this morning. Unbelief will keep you sunk where you are, my friends. Unbelief, my friends, is so powerful. It will stop, get God work in your life. I hear you this morning. He says, my friends, I believe this morning. Shikadama Sunday. God help me, my friends, this morning. He says, I believe that I am shaking. Hallelujah. Well, you give me what I lack so I can go deep enough to believe this morning. So even if your faith is weak, you've got a faith helper this morning. I'm here to help you. So get ready for your miracle this morning. Get ready for your miracle this morning. As long as you cross the bridge, my friends, Shikadama Santo de Bianda Shikadamene, believing you sing this morning. As long as you cross the bridge, we've been talking about my friends' faith. It's not so for a long time. We define faith as acting like God is telling the truth, my friends. Faith is measured by faith, faith not by feelings. Faith is measured by work, not by talk. Faith is measured by life, not by, are you hearing me this morning? Not by lips this morning. Are you hearing me, my friends? Jesus has been teaching all day. It's not so. He has been teaching the crowds, preaching the big sermon. It's not so, my friends. And then he takes his disciples aside. He takes his disciples aside. He gives them a private word. He gives them a private word. He says in verse 33 of Mark, Mark chapter 4, what he says in, in verse 33, with many such parables, he was speaking the word to them, my friends and beloved. Hallelujah. So far as they were able to hear it, Hallelujah. And he did not speak to them without a parable. He did not speak to them without a parable. He was explaining everything privately to his own disciples. Are you hearing me? Jesus said, get into the boat. They got into the boat after the sermon. They listened to the word he said in, in the boat. They got in the boat and they are going exactly, doing exactly what they were told to do. They are perfectly situated. Not only, my friends, are they in the will of God. Jesus is, is there with them. He is there with them because it was, it was say Jesus got into the boat too. So life can be better my friends like I hate me than, than having church hearing the word hallelujah and Jesus joins you is not written in the boat so Jesus is in the boat they're going their way over to the other side over to the other side but my friends while in, in the will of God while in the will of God and on the boat with the Lord hallelujah with the Lord my friends there is a problem I says there is a problem. Hallelujah. The problem, the problem is described in verse 47. They 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 cross a fierce gale of wind. A fierce wind, my friends, and the waves were breaking over the boat. So that the boat was already, the boat was already, my friends, filling up with water. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Greek word here for fierce gear of wind is my friends little cat my friends hallelujah the Lalita was a thermos storm. It was a thermos storm, my friends, coming out of nowhere on the Sea of Galilee. The storm was coming out of the Sea of Galilee, and while they were obeying God, my friends, 
Hallelujah. And God will, and God will do exactly what God says. What God says after church was over. Hallelujah. After church was over, Jesus finished teaching and they run into a storm. They run into a storm and into a whopper. My friends, it has been so bad. It has been so bad that the boat is filling up with water. The boat was filling up with water and they were caught in the storm. They were caught in the storm while being in the will of God. So the first thing that you need to know this morning is that the will of God, it does, it does rain. And you can be smack dab in the will of God and be in the middle of a lilac, my friends, a lilac. And you can be smack dab doing exactly what God tells you to do, my friends, and the boat all of your security begins to sink hallelujah you can be smack dab in the will of god now obviously you can be out in the will of god and be in a storm my friends and you can be in the will of god so that you ought to, to clarify as we try to do all along my friends that storm hallelujah is in in, in, in of themselves and not to tell you whether you're in out of the good will will of god but tell you whether you are in god's out of God's will or did not what he told you to do but whether you do it or you do who do it not you will be in a lilac my friends that is a, a top terminus situation but that's a terminus situation the other thing you need to know about the, the lilac is it is also a merciless it's also merciless it when it comes down on you and it seeks to consume you hallelujah praise God but let me tell you something this morning else about the storm a storm my friends is always designed it's always designed to increase your feet my friends and give you a deeper experience with your god hallelujah praise god storms aren't pleasant they aren't comfortable and sometimes my friends they can be life-threatening it's not so life-threatening but they are all they always come with a purpose so they are in a crisis they are in a crisis my friends hallelujah Hallelujah, Shikanama Sunday. They're in the this crisis. The crisis was, my friends, threefold. I said the crisis was threefold. There are actually three storms. They're in. We walk through the, 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 the three storms this morning. First of all, there is a, a circumstantial storm, the lilac this morning. Hallelujah. I say one more thing about this circumstantial storm, and that is, my friends, it was a storm over which they could exercise no control, no control at all. You can't control the wind, you can't control the sea, you can't control the rain, you can't control, hallelujah, the spinning of the turmoil, hallelujah. Praise God. You can't control waves blowing up, and you, you're going, you can't control that, and that's out of your control this morning. So you can't be in the will of God and in a storm and absolutely be able to do nothing about it is not so because you can't control a lilac my friends it's circumstances my friends that produces this morning a helpless a helpless and sometimes the feeling of a hopeless scenario are you getting me this morning so there's a storm number one that leads to the storm number two hallelujah storm number two is that they they were terrified they were all terrified and you know they were terrified because jesus is going to say to them hallelujah <coughs> why are you you afraid verse 40 <coughs> so they were to, Scared, they were scared. They, they, they weren't scared, my, my friends. They were scared. Now, if you're talking about terrifying, so now we have not only have a storm, my friends, of circumstance, we have a storm of emotion. Are you getting me this morning? Because the emotions have reverted up and they are scared about the, the doctors reported, scared about the financial struggles, scared this morning about them. The relationship is not so direct, direct scale, whatever it is this morning that you can't control. I say you can't control. That's causing your emotion to be uprooted. Hallelujah. To be uprooted. It is your lilac this morning. Hallelujah. Your lilac because of something so big, something so big, so deep and so devastating, my friends. You can't control it. I say you can't control it. And it is it's the first storm, the circumstance. 
circumstances out of the display control. The second storm is their emotional instability because of the uncomfortable circumstances. Hallelujah. But there is a third storm here, my friends. Hallelujah. I hear you this morning. It was called the theological storm, the theological storm, Shikanama Sunday, because not only was the circumstances out of control, my friends, hallelujah, and now the emotions responding to the circumstances, hallelujah, praise God, now there is a spiritual storm, my friends. A theological storm, my friends, this morning, because the scripture goes on to say, Hallelujah, praise God, that they woke up Jesus and said in verse 38, they said to him in verse 38, What did he say, teacher? Do you not care that we perish? Him? Do not care we perish? Him? See, that's a spiritual storm because their circumstances was out of control. They was out of control. The emotions have gone crazy. Hallelujah, and they they are question whether they have been believing hallelujah praise god it, it, believing is true if we, we were able to tell the truth my friends and shame the devil hallelujah but they have been those times i say they have been those times when we have to raise a christian like martha and mary where were you when i needed you hallelujah because you would have been there hallelujah wouldn't it be this painful this is it will take this long and it would hurt this bad hallelujah teacher my friends this morning do you really care do you really care because you're over when that naturally leads to a spiritual question this morning. Are you hearing me, my friends? They were, where were you? Where were your God? Where were you, God? Let's go a little deeper this morning. Let's get a little deeper because verse 13 says, Jesus himself was in the storm, in the storm sleeping uh, on the cushion. He was sleeping on the cushion. Is not so. Hallelujah. No, you don't get it, my friends. Hallelujah. Oh, no, you don't. Jesus Christ, my says. Jesus, Jesus, I says. Shikanama Sante is in a storm and you are snoring. He was snoring and I'm in a storm and you're sleeping, they're saying. This is a serious sleeper, my friend. So that meant he sleep on purpose. It's not so. He sleep on purpose. Not only is Jesus, my friends, a sleeper. Not only as Jesus was sleeper, not only in the his he sleeper, our perfect sleeper in a storm. Okay, you have got no other problems. Causing he's sleeping on me. God is sleeping on me. He is in the same storm I'm in. Because he's on the same boat I am on. Are you getting me this morning? This is deeper. He sleep. He sleep on the storm, and the only way to he gets up is I got to wake him up. Hallelujah. He says they wake him up. They wake him up. That's when you cry out because it's no, it's so bad, so deep, and so long. Hallelujah. You have to wake him up. And they, 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 they shook him, they shook him and they, says, they said to him, hallelujah, you don't care because if, you, if we, we will even be in, my friends, we are so tired we have to wake you up. You got, you're getting better like we're getting better. The boat's flipping and flopping, you like in this flipping and flopping us, my friends, they're saying, and you are a sleeper. Jesus has just taught the disciples that just came from church, so to speak, my friends. And now, listen to this. They are under pressure. They are under pressure. The disciples are under pressure. And it's tough. Does, does Jesus care about my pain, my finances, my loneliness, my heart, my depression this morning? Hallelujah. Does he care because I am in the will and I feel all this this morning? Shikanama Santo de Vianda Rava Shikara Bende, Prigaraba Santo de Vianda, and so they wake Jesus up. They wake him up, my friends. Verse 39 tells us Jesus gets, gets up and he rebukes the wind. He rebukes the wind and the sea, and he says, and he says to the sea, hush up, hush, 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 hush up. He says, uh, he says to the wind, hush, be still, be still. He says to the wind, Hallelujah, Shikanama Santo. 
me. Notice how Jesus is, t is talking, my friends, this morning. Hallelujah. He is going to walk on them, but he is not uh, talking to them right now. He is talking to the circumstances. The circumstances is the wind and the sea and is, is the storm, my friends. It doesn't speak to them yet. He speak to the situation. I says he speak to the situation. He speak to the situation after the week came up. Hallelujah. What happened? So Jesus is asleep. They wake him up. When they wake him up, my friends, what happened? He speaks to the circumstances that were causing the crisis. He speaks to the circumstances that was causing the crisis. So don't let it be said your crisis continues. Because you never took the time to wake up the Savior. Wake the Savior up, my friends. In other words, you were not so concerned about it. Hallelujah. That's getting this, his attention to it uh, was unimportant. Are you getting me this morning? Because we all wake up our friends. We wake up other people with power. We wake up people. We think uh, we can change it. And a lot of times we don't try to wake up the Savior. It's not so. Now it is explaining that because I know you're saying so well, he shouldn't be asleep. Are you seeing that? I got you, you stuck with me here, my friends. Hallelujah. Because I see what you're thinking this morning. Hallelujah. For this reason, I know that you're thinking he is because he's thinking too. Because we all face the storm. Is that so? We all face different shape, different size, equal, equal, equally real, real, my friends. Real storms in life. And so, my friends, Jesus now turns to his disciples. Shikanama Sante, why are you afraid? He says, why are you afraid in verse 40? How is it that you have no feet? How is it that you have no feet? He says to them, now I don't know about you, but I have issues with this question, my friends, this morning. I got issues with this question this morning, my friends, because the question doesn't make sense to me. Hallelujah. It doesn't make sense to me. They wake Jesus up. They, they, they boat filling with water. They're in a lilac terrible storm and don't even know whether they're going to live or going to die. And Jesus is going to ask a question like that. Why are you afraid, he asks them. And why do you have uh, no faith, Jesus says to them. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't know, Jesus. Maybe because uh, we're getting ready to. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you hearing me this morning? Praise the Lord. We're getting ready to die. That's what they think. I mean, a question like that is like, my friends, listen to this carefully. A question like that is something like this. Somebody asking a swimmer who just get out of the water, what water, why wet? Isn't it pretty obvious this morning? I mean, this is, this is not the, the deep, deep Jesus. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Jesus, my friends. Hallelujah. It's not the deep, it's not, it's not that deep. We are in, we are in, my friends, Shikana Masante, in a trouble, in a trouble. Why are you afraid, he says? Why are you afraid, he told them. Why are you afraid? Why the question this morning? Why the question? Well, that takes us back to verse 35. It takes us back to verse 35 because in verse 35 it tells us, Jesus says, let us go to the other side. Let us go to the other side. Let us go to the other side. When the circumstances show up, they overrode what I says. In other words, what we say, your problem, your problem, my friends, overrode my promise. Hallelujah. You are now living in the light of the problem. Hallelujah. No longer living in the light of the promise. And when you live in the light of the problem, my friends, and no longer in the light of the promise, the problem will determine you. Hallelujah. And it will totally erase the fact that I have ever made one. Hallelujah. Praise God. God never wants my friends, God never wants your circumstances. He does not want you to de deny them a storm in the storm. You don't call it a sunshine day. A storm is reality, but he never wants, my friends, your circumstances to triumph, to triumph his word. Are you get that? Did you get that, my friends, this morning? Hallelujah. Shikanama Sunday. Not only does he not want your circumstances to triumph his word, he doesn't want your circumstances to triumph his presence. Are you hearing me this morning? Because he's on the boat too. 
because he's on the boat too because the storms are designed to deeper deepen your feet and highlighting your experience with him hallelujah praise god they are not pleasant i say they are not pleasant but they are unavoidable unavoidable because you cannot control the lilacs Hallelujah. I can't control when they come, how they come, and how long they stay. My friends, are you getting me this morning? This is heavy this morning. And so that's our scenario. It's not so. That is our scenario, my friends, and situation. The circumstances was becoming their, their theology, my friends, and their circumstances cause and forget that God sins over oh, there when he, my friends, hallelujah, praise God, when he spoke, when he spoke, he told the wind, chill. He told the wind chill, he just chilled. Hallelujah. He told, he told to see, he told to see. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name. And when Jesus spoke to the circumstances, my friends, the circumstances change. Hallelujah. I say the circumstances change. So the issue of a lilac is not your ability to change the circumstances. The issue of a, in a lilac is your communication with Jesus. So he can speak, my friends. He can speak. He can speak. I say he can speak. Hallelujah. So to it. So Jesus spoke to the problem and he speak to the problem there is a circumstantial change my friends hallelujah are you getting me this morning? Is that great and mighty? Is that awesome? And then it leads to a conclusion. And oh, what a conclusion it is, my friends. Hallelujah. What a conclusion is it this morning in verse 41. Verse 41 says, They became very much afraid. They became very much afraid. Hallelujah. I don't think you just read that with me. Verse 41 says, my friends, this morning, hallelujah, they became very much afraid. Hallelujah. Okay, maybe they got on in on this side. Verse 41 says, hallelujah. <coughs> they became very much afraid, my friends, okay, when they were in the lilac. Hallelujah. They were free, my friends. Are you following me this morning? When they saw they do, they were dealing with Hallelujah. They became very much afraid when they saw what they were dealing with. In other words, we are afraid of the wrong thing. Did you get that? We see that a lot of circumstances scare us. Praise God says when you know that we are dealing what we know that we are dealing with, you will be less afraid that of more of scared of me, Jesus says. So it's more important, my friends, to be, to, 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 by faith, get Jesus dealing with the circumstances. And then you're living in, in fear, my friends. Don't be scared when you're living in fear. Don't be scared of the wrong thing this morning. Don't be scared of the wrong thing. And they ask a question because they scared. They were scared. Now listen to this. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shikarama Sante Reviende. When who then is this, my friends? Hallelujah. Praise God that even the wind, the wind and the sea obey him. The wind and the sea obey him. Hallelujah. Is that awesome? Then this is, is then this in this obvious. We don't know who he is. Hallelujah. Is it obvious? My friends, let me tell you something this morning. When Jesus, my friends, is humility, he is sleeper, his deity stays awake. His deity stays awake, my friends. Hallelujah. Who then is this? Who then is this this morning? Hallelujah. They were on a journey. A journey of discovery is not so. Trials as inconvenient and as painful as they are, are they are a journey, my friends, of discovery. And of who you're dealing with this morning. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name. God has placed you, my friends, and not, uh, not convenient. I'm not only trying to make light of it, but you are in a situation where God wants you to know you are dealing with uh, because it's human. We can't call this in a theology. It's a uh, hypothetical. My union, my friends, means two nature in one person or uh, on mix forever. 
hallelujah to nature one person on mix however forever so he don't he both human and divine see so god fertilize the egg of a woman he fertilize the egg of mary without a male sperm are you getting it so that the holy spirit will provide the divine and mary will provide the human so that the human and the divine human and the divine be mixed in one person without sin forever. Hallelujah. That's a hypostatical union, my friends. So, my friends, so one minute he thirsts. The Bible says, he said, I thirst. But the next minute he's walking on the water. Do you see that? And, and my friends, and stopping storms and stuff. Hallelujah. And doing all manner of miracles. One minute he say I'm hungry. It's not so. One minute he's hungry. The next minute he's taking, he's taking uh, fish and bread and making folks uh, 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 sandwich and bread. 5,000 and continue women and children and over 20,000 people. One moment he died on the cross. Are you getting me this morning? He died on the cross and the next moment he is raising folks from the dead. Come my friends, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Is that awesome that what matter of man is this disease? Praise the Lord. Hebrews chapter 4 says, And we have a high priest, a high priest, my friends and beloved, who is able to sympathize with us this morning. With our pain. Are you having pain? Who can, uh, can you sympathize with my pain? Because I'm human. I'm human this morning. So I can feel what you feel. The way you feel it. Jesus is saying, I am the divine See, When I go to you or you go to me, uh, that's human to you human hallelujah i may be able to sympathize but not be able to fix it but when you deal with the god man when you deal with the god man you're dealing with someone who can feel and it and fix it hallelujah is that awesome my friends god says because i am a man i know how to feel and because i'm god i can do something with it is not awesome that manner of man what manner of man is this hallelujah that even the circumstances nature obeys him hallelujah that nature has to succumb to him hallelujah praise god thank you jesus so if you have a lie like this morning if you have a lilac if you don't have one keep living keep living my friends and you will hallelujah keep living and you will god wants you to wants you to take you to a place of understanding in him when you have never been before i tell you my friends it's important might you understand hallelujah praise god it's important that you understand this morning Shikana ma santo de bienda raba shikara bende ukara baba baya nana ma santo de bende de be shikara bende ura baba baba baya nana ma santo de bende de be shikara bende wa baba baya nana ma santo de bende yes my friends uh, listen to me this morning it's awesome my friends uh, god wants us to understand him something jesus told them let us go to the other side that was on the dry dock he said before we ever my friends hallelujah Praise God, wind up, my friends, hallelujah. We're supposed to be true sailing, true living, my friends, and coming back here. But your salvation, my friends, and your savior is important, was built with your struggle, hallelujah, in mind. He was built with your struggle in mind. He has not forgotten you, my friends, your struggle. God has not forgotten your struggle, your pain, and your purpose. He knows how to get you get you from point A to point Z, hallelujah, even if you have to go back, my friends, to B, and to go back, to warn back at the F, and to go back at X, in order to get you where he knows how to take you from there, and you get you get there because it was built with you in mind, hallelujah, including your hallelujah, your struggle this morning. Are you getting me this morning? Shikana ma santo da ba 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 yanda ra ba shikara bende. My friends, shuda ma 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 yanda ra ba santo de bende. This message is powerful. I know faith can be risky business, my friends, this morning. 
because we react to believe God and trust God is not so this morning and sometimes my friends the weirdest of the circumstances this morning hallelujah I will admit for myself and I know you you being there too my friends when things are tumultuous, when there is no answer in sight hallelujah when there is no answer in sight and Jesus wants to keep Keep your eyes focused on him. Keep your eyes focused on him. We believe when it looks like it's unbelieving, my friends. But God tells us, keep our eyes on him. To take a step out, my friends, by faith on God. When, my friends, we are not sure whether we can, my friends, stay up. Stay up, my friends. Yep, keep faith is a risk, my friends. And that makes the big risk. Is we are believing in a God we can't see. It's not so. We believe in a God we can't see. A Savior who is in heaven and not physically with us. Hallelujah. In a circumstances, we don't, we don't understand, boy. But, but all together, we have God, the Holy Spirit, and even surround risk. Hallelujah. The question that we have to answer this morning, my friends, is this. Hallelujah. Since God is God, since God is God and is worthy of the risk this morning, you see, my friends, we take risks through the power of the Holy Spirit all the time in our lives. We don't. We, we risk on the plane getting to this destination because we trust God, the Holy Spirit. We take a risk on the storm. Snack, we take risk, my friends, going up over over many different things in life and doing many things we take a risk my friends when we do things it's not so hallelujah because we trust God they are the first time and we are nervous about it and so my friends risking taking risk taking is not unusual to us and if you're willing to take a risk, if you're willing to take on risks on things that are in the natural realm, my friends, then we ought to be willing to take a risk in the things that are in the supernatural realm. Are you hearing me this morning? Since God is overseeing the realm this morning and he is worthy, my friends, he is worthy of risk taking this morning. Of If you're going to, to do something, my friends, bet on God. God will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of the world. As I said before I start preaching, are you waiting on God? Take a risk this morning. God promised, he says, lo, I'm with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even unto the end of every situation, every trial, every testing, every storm. Are you going through a storm this morning? Jesus is there in that storm, but you have to call upon him. Unless you call upon him, he will not answer you. He is in the storm. What storm are you going through this morning? Are you going through a physical storm, a spiritual storm, a social storm, a material storm, a financial storm, an educational storm? What is your storm this morning? What are you going through? Call upon him, for he is on the main line, ready to answer you and deliver you from that situation and that storm. Oh, hallelujah, my friends, it has been a joy and great privilege this morning to be here to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that you do enjoy and this word has been a blessing to your heart. Do have a wonderful day. I love you in the love of God. See you tomorrow. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.